Hey everyone, it's Matt aka Tech Ranger, and today we're going to be taking a look at Trayon Film Looks, but this time we're going to be combining everything in one video. We're going to have all the film looks in one video. You need to close out your game every time you switch out a film look, so I thought making a video having all of them in one would be a good way to see it before you actually try to switch one out if you don't like it. I thought that this would be a good time to do this because now that I've reinstalled Clarity, everything just looks really sharp and nice. So I think another run through with Trayon Film Looks, the first LUT framework and the second LUT framework with those film looks would be a good idea so if you enjoy the video if you get some value out of it if it's helpful for those of you who are just getting into fall for modding for the first time want to switch up your game without installing weather mod let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you enjoyed it but with that out of the way let's jump into the video so first things first, for anyone who is not familiar, Trayon Film Looks is a way to basically color grade your game, kind of like a LUT if you're playing on PC, you're familiar with what that does, it basically changes the look of your game. And this is kind of that, but in a way it's just changing the color of the game, it's not actually changing any graphics. Generally you're not supposed to pair any weather mods with this, however I am using Clarity, which is not a weather mod, but it can affect the look of your game, as well as Unified Commonwealth Weathers, which it's not a fully fledged weather mod, it just combines the DLC weathers with the vanilla weathers. You can use Tram Film Looks whether you have the DLC or not. There's a specific framework for if you don't have the DLC, which I'll have linked below. And there is this LUT framework too, which is essentially just the sequel to the first set of film looks. There's only three, but you will need this particular LUT framework too in order to get it to work. Now we know how it works, now let's take a look at the first set of Tram Film Looks. This is the one you're going to need the LUT framework for and then you install the film look that you want right underneath it. So if you don't have the DLC you install that one, if you do have the DLC you install that one. To kick things off let's look at the blockbuster Trayon film look which is one of my favorite ones. It's kind of tame during the day but it brings out a lot of those greens and then in the morning it gives you like a really cinematic feel which Overall, I really like in a game like Fallout 4, especially now since we have Clarity installed. And as with all the other film looks we're going to look at, let me know which one is your favorite in the comments down below. Moving on, we have CFL Hampton, which was actually one of the first film looks I've used. It's not going to be as dark as the next one we look at, but it does have that cold and kind of blue tinge to the environment. Make things just look a little bit cooler. Not everything will be really cold, even in the morning when that sun comes out, you'll still get to see some pretty awesome views like this. The next film look is denim, and while it is a little bit darker in terms of the blues, everything just looks a little cooler, you're still going to be able to see the sun, and light sources will still emit light, so it's not going to be totally blue, but you are going to see a lot more greens pop out as well, but in those darker areas, it will be dark. But when it's sunny, you'll see sun. Now with Warsaw, it pretty much takes all of that color away, but leaves the blues. So you have a really cold look, but then you also don't have a lot of saturation going on. You do still see some reds, obviously, but the greens are very muted. And then on the total opposite end of that, we have Furious, which is a lot of orange and not as much blue. So you have a lot of orange and reds going on, but then you also have the environments that are dark, but you still see that orange because the light is actually tinged orange. The only time that you might see different colors or more than just orange would be in an overcast environment like this. Apocalypse is actually one we showcased in the load order before this last. It gives the game a nice overall look over the last one and makes it look a little bit more cinematic while kind of doing its own thing and making the world look just a little bit darker but then giving it a little color here and there which looks really nice. And then we have Earth and Cold, which is heavily focused on the oranges and the blues, but when it is an overcast environment, you will see that, but you will see a lot of blue and a lot of orange. And before this video gets too boring, here are the rest of them. There's nine more of these, so there's a lot with this first slot framework, which is good because this is the one that you can actually use with or without the DLC. And some of these are more different than others, while we also have one that's just straight up black and white, which is the monochrome one. So let me know which ones you like out of these bunch, and then we will look at LUT framework two next. So unlike the first LUT framework, this one will require you to have the DLC unfortunately. So if you don't have the DLC, you won't be able to use these, but there are three that you can use if you have this LUT framework too. First up is Tetrachrome, and I really like this one. This might be my favorite one out of the three. It's actually based off of a Kodak film stock, so it looks 
pretty cinematic. This type of look with these colors is something that you could see in a movie and I think that's pretty cool to have on Fallout 4. And it's different enough from the base game and how that looks. Now this one's probably the most different from the other two, and this is the 8-0 preset, so think like 80s, think a lot of those kind of saturated colors, desaturated at some times during the day. And there you have 8-0, so kind of an 80s look if that's kind of what you're going for with Fallout. And lastly, we have the Stellar preset, which this is the one that I thought kind of looked like Starfield. I really like this one, think like Interstellar but in Fallout 4. It's a really cool look and something cool to maybe try for your next playthrough. And that's going to do it for this quick look at Trey and Film Looks, just showing everything all in one video. That way you guys have something to look at if someone is looking to use one of these. Hopefully that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great rest of your day and happy mommy.